All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baron. We are back in Salt. I'm excited. Um, you know what we're going to do? We're getting that pirate ship, but I had a theory in the last episode with regard to fishing. If you fish offshore as opposed to onshore, do you get bigger fish? And we're going to test that before basically taking the mightiest ship in the game right now. So we're going to drop sail, and we're going to pull out our fishing pole. Now we gotta get bait and we're gonna use deer guts because I think deer guts would be nice and smelly and rotten and pretty big compared to some of the other bait. So we're gonna drop it. Now we get to see fishing during the day. Sorry for the water effects. It's got the new water effects and I don't know what the deal is with my version anyway. So you can kind of see a little bit of a current. There's definitely, and you can see the wind in the little white dots. I believe that's why it was put there. So I wonder if there's certain, like, catching of the wind to go faster. Maybe in the future will you need to tack upwind. You know, kind of going diagonal since you can't go straight because the wind's blowing at you. All kinds of cool little sailing mechanics that could be incorporated in the game. Whether maybe that would be a hardcore mode or something like that. That's an option. That's an idea. So... Come on, fish. Come on, get in the boat, fish. Come on and get in the boat, fish, fish. We want the fish. And I don't want little small sea bass. I don't want to see that. I don't know how long my line is. Strong deer fibers. Come on now. Come on now. I'm kind of drifting away. Wave after wave drifting away. I wonder... Small sea bass from the shore. What do you catch during the day in the middle of the ocean? Doesn't look like anything. We're gonna we're gonna wait it out a bit longer. Oh, look at that. So I recast it off here and I caught a red salmon. So let's check that out compared to one of the, the weaker fish. Smallmouth sea bass, 50 food. Red salmon, 250 food. So are we in the Pacific? There's Atlantic salmon. I don't know too much about Caribbean salmon. <laughs> or if there is. So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and cast again. See if there's a different fish than a salmon or a small sea bass, but... Offshore fishing... I'm trying to build a theory here. Certain fish might only bite during the day. Others at night. Shore fishing, offshore fishing. I don't know how it all plays in yet. That's what's fun about this game is... The developers are kind of like, we're going to put stuff in and you guys get to figure it out on your own. Which is pretty fun. It really adds to the whole, like sense of exploration and survivability you know this is a survival game but that red salmon came quickly we casted elsewhere got nothing caught another red salmon all right so we'll get to shore and we'll test again because go ahead and hoist the mainsail look at that weird pixelation man of the water it's only where the light is. Because you're looking ahead. Like, to the side of my raft, it's weird and pixelated. Straight ahead. Well, kind of is too, I guess. Wherever the light touches, Simba, the pixels go crazy. So, we got ourselves the giant pirate ship. There is the fire on that island. We'll loot it. Um, we'll check the island out. We'll do some onshore fishing. Look at these waves, man. Go ahead and speed this up a bit. We're going to get a little closer. We'll throw one more bait in. I'm really curious about fishing. Um, there's two fires. One on the top of the island, one to the left. Then our main, our main girl over there just waiting for us to come over there and refurbish it. Take it out. Now that's a ship that you have to... I don't... I 
think you can't ground it. You can't respawn it. So, okay, we got pirates. Oh, yeah, we got pirates. We got full health. We've got three things of armor, boots, leggings, and a tunic now. All pretty basic stuff, but it combines for, like, nine armor. So, we're gonna go ahead and beach ourselves. Actually, wait. Stop! Oh, I didn't stop it in time. Because we're definitely gonna hit the land. Unless we take a hard right. Yeah, we're kind of near the shore. We're, we're gonna fish from here where it's safer. That's pretty much right near the shore. If we get a small sea bass, we know... We're, we're gonna theorize. There's gonna be some weight to the theory that there is onshore and offshore fishing. Inshore, offshore, not... Smallmouth sea bass. I, I think... I think it's safe to say, guys. I think it's safe to say. We kinda... Hey. Where's this thing? Woo! That's just really strange. Alright. That'll work. Pull out our bow. Stick this pirate. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll take it. Come at me, bro. It's time to do this, man. Got an arrow right in through his stomach. Missed it. Yeah, our armor's definitely better now. You notice how, like, the damage done to us? A log of various survival recipes. Helpful survival recipes, volume one. Fantastic. Yes, please. We are a pirate, but we are about that learning. Strange journal. All right. By Dean the Deckhand. Included in this book are some recipes for helpful survival items and some basic usage information for the items. We know about compass, sextant, flag marker. I don't know about you, but I'm a sucker for a well-placed flag. I find them handy for marking where I've already traveled. Just cut you up some wood into a pair of poles and fasten some cloth in between them. The dual pole structure is of my own design and apparently it caught on quick. Quite a few others have adopted the method after seeing mine. That is great. This helps us. Let's, let's try to craft that real quick, right? All right, so we're gonna need logs and cloth. Aha, a flag. Nice, one wood, one cloth. But we need to keep our cloth right now for cloth swatch, actually. Let's see. Three plant fibers. Are we going to have enough? I think we might just... One. Mm. We're one cloth swatch short, and I don't want to use my plant fibers. And by what I'm talking about right now, I'm talking about refurbishing that pirate ship. So let's go back to that menu. What is that over there? Something that looks like a pirate from distance, actually. All right, so we're gonna go back to our books. We're gonna get edumacated. Tripwire, healing potions and bandages, bamboo fishing pole. All right, so it's two pages. Though you can get your bearings by checking the position of movement of the sun and moon, a compass is handy thing to have in times where getting a good view of them is impossible or inconvenient. You'll need a magnetic stone and some hard stone. Mold the hard stone into a hollow cylinder shape. Shave the magnetic stone into a needle and attach it inside the cylinder. So do we have hard stone and magnetic stone? How's our food? Actually, let's go ahead and eat ourselves a red salmon. What's that? Salmon meal, 15% movement in speed increase for 10 minutes from eating red salmon. Must be those omega-3 and 6s, right? <laughs> Obviously. All right, so we're looking for if we have those resources. Magnetic stone and hard... Maybe we have to make... Let's go ahead and craft. See what if we just put that up. A club. Huh. Hardwood log, hardwood sticks? How do you do that? Ironite ore? I still don't know what to do that. Hardstone ore? We're gonna have to go back to that 
book. Mold the hard stone. Hard stone. Yeah. I did just do that. Stone block, hard stone ore. There you go, and that's how you make a compass. Magnetic stone and hard stone ore. Now we don't need to make that because we found one. Sextant and flag marker, all of these things are very useful in navigation. So there's gonna be plenty of pirates and plenty of booty to plunder. And there's that giant ship, which will be mine after we seize this island. Da, 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 da. I don't think we got him. Yeah, he just kind of runs off, but he's like, what was that? What was that? So we'll see if we can't find our arrows. There's one. Where would be the other one? We're looking for the black hand. As opposed to the white hand of Sauron. Sauron, you noob! It's a trick question. It wasn't a question. What you want? Oh, look. Pirates everywhere, man. There we go. We're in the rhythm. He kind of got quick on that last one. Ah, oh, perfect. So we're going to get all the cloth swatch we need. And then we are going to refurbish that ship and see what happens. I didn't really block that one, did I? Haha! -ha! Have at thee! More of the same? Yeah, pirates tend to have cloth swatch on them. Now we're gonna go get these big things of wood. I'm gonna save. I like to save at fires. I don't really know why. I can press escape and save at any time, but it's still habit for some reason for me to do it this way. I don't know. Definitely been to that island. Oh, look at these plant fibers. No, nope, white flowers. More white flowers. Healing potions. That's always good. For certain. Kind of am getting better at identifying them from distance. Because I see there's a plant over there. So we're going to get this piece of wood. I believe we've been to that island. If we've been to this one, we've likely been to that one. Or have we? Yeah, we definitely have. Because if this is the one with the pirate ship, I would have gone to the nearest islands... And then, sought my resources there. Now, how are we hungry? So we got ourselves a regular pirate. No pirate captains or bosses. Let's block. Block that last blow. Two gold and broken pirate axe. You can use all those broken pirate axes to... I think it makes some kind of metal. We'll have to test that again. We'll get to the top of the island, see if there's any more pirates. Fight them all. Steal their ship. Plunder their booty. It's the pirate way. There's no other way to live. I don't know about you. Give me that wood. We're feeling confident now that we know this pirate ship is within our grasp. Now give me more booty. I'd love to find a pirate captain and get a key and there's a treasure chest filled with like... A um, treasure map? Oh my god, quests. Oh, that would be fun. Like some... Oh man, that would be so cool. Treasure map quests. Shiver me, Timbers. It's time to die, mother trucker. Oh, okay, that's... Ooh. That's not good. Wow, we're gonna have to use some white flower potions. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. We took more damage than we wanted to. So, where be my white flowers? White flowers, where for all of you? Here we go. Yeah, this is gonna be good. It's good when you get into like a really intense battle. We'll, we'll leave the rest. Um, now where's our potions at? Here we go. We'll map those to six. Go ahead and eat ourselves some... Not pristine deer meat. Where's the regular... Yeah, there we go. Alright. Don't craft that. We want to eat it, silly. 
All right, perfect. So I like how certain fish kind of have effects. There's a lot into this game. Now, guess what we gotta do, guys? What we've all been waiting for. The pirate ship adventure. Now we don't have a key, so we're gonna be sailing this around. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's ridiculous. Now we're gonna have to use, what we're gonna have to do is basically use our raft to ferry us around. Oh yeah, we gotta do the new way. And um, because I, I don't wanna dock this ship, or excuse me, beach this ship. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see what happens. Repair. Boat repaired. Oh, this is amazing. So that is the rudder. We obviously have to go down here, hit the mainsail. Oh my God, we're we're sailing it, guys. Where's our next destination? We're going that way, man. We're going where we've never been to before. This sails. Oh gosh. This is gonna take some getting used to. Oh my god, we're like the best pirates that ever were. And I wonder if the wind it definitely affects like a ship like this more than it would other ships. That would make sense, right? I wish there was kind of a little helper. I think we're going slow. Are we going as slow as we would go in the raft? We're gonna go to the right of this island. We're on the high seas. In a high boat. Look at this, man. It's just amazing. Sails up. We can run around, see if we had crew, it'd be like... What if you could get crew, like NPC crew in the future? That would be pretty cool, get cannons. Stuff like that. I would love it. You know, we don't have much for crew quarters. Oh, the chest is gone! I mean... And we're going into the wind. So, are we... Is that what's causing us to go slow? What's that over there? Something poking up. Alright, so... Deer Island here. Tree Island here. The next island we see past these, because I'm pretty sure I've explored them, we're going to get to, and we're going to explore. But I'm a pirate now, mother trucker. I'm on a boat. A oh, Whoa! This is the biggest island I've seen. I mean, this thing just popped up, man. Procedure generated world. Look at this, man. The biggest ship and the biggest island. Now we're gonna sail off to the right. We do not want to beach this thing. And um, this thing's huge. That mountain up there will give a very nice commanding view of the entire surrounds. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna take down the sail. Oh my God, steer hard right. Hard to starboard. And then we're gonna... Is there an anchor system to this? Or does it just kind of come to a stop? This may be even a little too close. Hard right. Because current and wind could push this into it. We seem to be standing still. Now we're gonna have to keep track. Look at this island, guys! Look at that. It's freaking beautiful. What's happening? I think we're fine, yeah. The rudder's just kinda standing still. We're gonna launch the raft and make it to that island in the next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baron. Thank you all for watching. We got the big pirate ship. We found the biggest island we've ever encountered so far. It might even have some new tree types on it. I don't know. But I tell you what. 
We're going to find something crazy on that island, and I cannot wait. So stay tuned for the next episode. Make sure to give this video some love. Like it. Let me know what you guys think is on that island in the comments below. Let me know some tricks, recipes, whatever. Any little professional tidbits, pro tips you guys got for me. I'll read them every time. And uh, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.